Hey Warriors, this is Chief coming at you. Um, got a, my Yeti, my 110th Yeti out here. We got the hot racing links on the back end. I think I'm going to put this one on the other side and bring the other one over here so the graphite shows on the outside. I think they look better, but anyway. The hot racing upper links are in. And let's see, what oh, we're missing a ESC, and I will be picking that up Wednesday. If anybody happens to see the difference with the motor in this one, it's because that is a Mamba Monster 2 inside of a 110th Yeti. So you have to cut part of the battery tray in here and then cut part of the X out off the top. And then if you run your Velcro through over the top and put your battery up this way, up and down this way as opposed to this way, your battery has enough clearance to clear the motor so the heat is not transferring from the motor to the battery so that's all been solved the mamba monster esc should fit right in there um this plate here is going to have to come out and i believe the holes line up if i remember watching geo stealth's video it'll it'll uh line right up um another question that i don't see a lot or a lot another answer to a question that i had that you don't see a lot of is will the Mamba Monster bolt to the motor mount without any modification? The answer is yes. The motor mounts, both 1 tenth and 1 eighth, are 26 millimeters from center to center, both on the 1 tenth motor and the 1 eighth motor. So it's just really simple. Uh, screw it on, and you know how the Yetis are when you drop it in, you turn it until the mesh is right, and if you look, let me see here if I can get this. I can get the tension off, but I've got the tension just right. See? So the tension is just perfect. The spacing is just perfect. So the only other thing I need to do before the competition is replace this arm and this arm on both sides. Um because the plastic ones are just not working right with this with this particular unit. I did manage to get, uh, let's see if I can get in there, a, a, a brass tube in here to help protect the screw up the screw up top here. So that'll be that'll help beefing this up a little bit. Um, got a new chassis coming. I'm gonna change everything over to the new chassis, and then we're gonna put our CBE um tray uh skid plate on it thanks you guys you rock great products Let's go check them out um we got the pro line shocks up front pro line shocks in the back um we went with the robinson racing gear clutch robinson racing gear um motor gear up front we're still running the tactic um servo up front Let's see, what else have we changed on here that I may not have shown in a previous update? Um, turn this around. Oh, we're running 2.2 Pro Lines in the back, bead lock. Uh, glue these on and then bolt them down because they will pop out of this with the centrifugal force, the tire going around. They will pop off and it's a pain in the butt to put them back on. Um, new gearing, uh, bigger gearing in the back with my little skull cap on there. He's kind of cool, I like him. Um, as you can see, there's a slight little bit of green on the hot racing right there, that's kind of cool. With uh, green spacers in there, that's really, really cool actually. Um, we upped up the gearing in the front to match the rear diff gears. So that's all taken care of. So this should be up and running by next weekend so I can take it out for a couple test runs. I'm probably going to move the shocks back one more hole. Um, I'll, I'll play with that a little bit. I'm not happy with how much um, throw is with these shocks, but I want to get a little more throw, get the oil in there correct. Look, see, it's already starting to come out right here, right there, see? So glue these on. I gotta get some glue. Glue them on and then bolt them together that way it doesn't want to pop out but uh that's where let's see where else we got in here I, I know you guys know this but i'm running strcs up front on the caster blocks both inside and out on both sides 
Um, nothing really a lot, but I mean, she's coming along. She's got a lot, right a lot of upgrades. But if you look, you see how that tire's straight? And that one kind of is cockeyed at an angle like this compared to that one. I don't know if it'll show up on video, but <clears throat> that's due to these plastic uh, stock arms. I need to get those in because I've got all the screws exactly where they need to be. But um, we're going to take this out for a, a bashing run before I take it down to Richmond for a crawling event. Believe it or not, I'm going to take this out crawling. The problem I was having was is the one-tenth motor for this thing kept overheating. Um, this Yeti with all the upgrades and everything is just about 10 pounds. And the one-tenth motor that I had in it, the STC Sidewinder um, three-pole, was not enough. This thing needs a four-pole. And uh, uh, and you can't get the motor that comes in it originally is a Vanguard, which is a rewrapped castle motor, and they don't make this mid motor. It's a motor that's in between a one tenth and a one eighth, so it's it's a technically it's a one ninth motor, but you can't find an off uh, um, a, a one ninth within a reasonable price range. So um, got the Mamba Monster 2 in there. Gonna pick up the Mamba Monster 2 ESC. Um, when Tuesday night or Wednesday evening, I'm gonna drop this off at Hobby Town. They're gonna change everything over to the new chassis. It's just an OEM stock chassis. It's just some of these holes, um, like this hole here that holds the screw in. It's a really weak and bad design by um, by Axial on their Yeti. It when you bend this screw when taking it out, actually wobbles the hole out so these screws will back out if you're not careful I was trying to figure out if I could drill a hole all the way through the chassis get a longer screw through here and get a nut on the other side but I'll look more at that when I get the new chassis and take a look at it but uh, that's where Chief's at with the Yeti so hopefully I'll have her up and running by next weekend so I can uh, do a, a, a run video with it would be really nice I think I'm gonna find me a new bumper I don't like how this bumper is if I'm going to a competition I'm gonna be running a tag team with a friend of mine um, if he rolls over I'm gonna be pulling him upright because if you touch your vehicle during a competition it's called an act of God and you actually lose 30 points so I'm gonna see if I can't find a better bumper to put on here I was gonna get the plate that goes here that the uh, winch sits to but it's just quicker just to hook on your little uh, key ring hook here with a little rope tied to their car and pull it over it's just quicker faster um, it's not really a time event but you want to if you want to go to the second event which is a hill climb contest you do want to be done before that starts but anyway but this is with chief with a mamba monster 2 and a 110th yeti thanks for watching guys keep our seeing my friends